Doctor Who is probably one of the most world-renowned exports of British popular culture, up there with other cultural gems like Robin Hood, Harry Potter, and Sherlock Holmes. They've been on and off our screens gallivanting about the known and unknown universe for the better part of 50 years across old and new generations of the show. Naturally, such a popular cultural export has appeared in a huge range of media, from books to audio dramas to comics, and even some Doctor Who video games too. However, that doesn't mean our favourite Time Lord is restricted to in-house projects. Whether it's an easter egg, subtle reference, or a more obvious copy, Doctor Who references have appeared in a monumental range of video games over the years. It has been quoted, TARDISes have been found all over the place, and in some cases the Doctor themselves, or a carbon copy, shows up to interfere occasionally. This list collects just a few of these titles that bear some homage to the legendary science fiction show. My name is Rich, I am coming to you from What Culture's very own dedicated Doctor Who channel aptly named Who Culture, and these are 10 times Doctor Who appeared in video games. Number 10. Krieg quotes the Doctors, Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 is a melting pot of so many pop culture references, there is a section of the game's wiki dedicated to solely explaining them all. Everything from classic literary epic Paradise Lost to Moby Dick to The Dark Knight is fair game to Gearbox, but there's plenty of highlights from Britain's beloved time traveller too. Krieg seems to be channeling several iterations of the Doctor directly. When he wins a duel between players, Krieg shouts, You were fantastic! So was I! Fans of the show will instantly recognise this as a direct callback to the departing lines of the best Doctor, Christopher Eccleston, lines he spoke to Rose just before regenerating. Before I go, I just want to tell you you were fantastic. And you know what? So was I. Further quotes include the line, I DON'T WANNA GO! If downed in combat, again, a reference to the last words of David Tennant's run as the Doctor, I don't wanna go. As well as a slight misquote of, It's the end, but the meat has been prepared! This references the last words of Tom Baker's fourth Doctor who said, It's the end, but the moment has been prepared for. Number 9. Doctor Woe, Team Fortress 2. Fans of Doctor Who know one thing for certain, the Doctor has an impeccable, if not outlandish, dress sense. If you ever wanted to channel the same sophisticated style in Team Fortress 2, then you'd best pick up the Doctor Woe cosmetic item. This cosmetic originally appeared thanks to the Steam user Tao V, who uploaded it to Team Fortress 2 via the Steam Workshop. It's available for the Spy and the Medic, and it gives them both a taste of the 11th Doctor's style with a delightful bow tie and a white dress shirt combo. If that wasn't enough, an unpainted version of the bow tie will emulate your assigned team's colour to match seamlessly with your character's outfit. After all, it is important to accessorise. Initially added to the game way back in 2011 on the 48th anniversary of Doctor Who, the item was very shortly updated to be obtainable through all the normal means in-game. So you can create and dish out as many bow ties as you want, all in the name of fashion. Number 8. The Doctor Watt Costume, Rock Band Another costume-based reference, this time in a rhythm game. One of the little extras in Rock Band was being able to customise your own avatar's appearance, and one specific outfit is very much Hoovian inspired. The Doctor Watt outfit is a near-direct importation of one of the most iconic looks from the series' history. Tom Baker sure knew how to accessorise, and now your own rock legend can become the ultimate Time Lord rock performer. The Doctor Watt outfit costs $169 nice, dollars to pick up, but once you've splashed that little bit of in-game cash, you could sport something very similar to Tom Baker's super long scarf and jacket ensemble. Sure, it's not quite the Technicolor Marvel that Tom Baker's Doctor wore, but nevertheless, it is a very slick look for any upcoming musicians. It's a shame that Rock Band and also Guitar Hero have kind of died a death over this generation, as another outfit from the 12th Doctor play by Peter Capaldi would make a perfect fit now that we've seen him wielding a guitar rather than a sonic screwdriver. Number 7. The TARDIS, Fallout Being a series laden with sci-fi references and easter eggs, it is no surprise that one of science fiction's most iconic spacefaring ships appears in the original Fallout. If players weren't familiar with Doctor Who though, they might find the appearance of a random police box in the wasteland a little bit confusing. A wandering vault dweller might just randomly come across a TARDIS in the post-apocalyptic landscape of Southern California. The TARDIS looks pretty out of place anywhere it lands in Doctor Who apart from the 1950s, so it understandably stands out pretty substantially against the scarred brown landscape of post-apocalyptic America. 
Examining the blue box helpfully informs the viewer that it's a police box from the UK circa 1960s. Unfortunately though, that's as far as the crossover gets. Attempting to approach the TARDIS presumably sends the Doctor into a panic, as getting closer to it causes the TARDIS to dematerialise right before your very eyes. There is no clue as to which iteration of the Doctor is piloting this, and it doesn't sound like it should, probably down to copyright. But it did inspire the fan-made Who Vegas campaign, which puts New Vegas' courier at the control of their own police box. Number 6. David Dennant, EverQuest Doctor Who is so wide-reaching in cultural impact that it made its way into the MMORPG, which kickstarted a whole genre. Upon the release of the EverQuest expansion Seeds of Destruction, players could interact, stop, and chat with an NPC in the Guildhall, who used to be called Flavin Deep Pockets, who is now known as David Dennant. While he doesn't really look or emulate Time Lord number 10 all that much, he does have a few contextual clues that make it clear the developers are paying homage to the sci-fi show. Firstly, David Dennant is obviously a slight modification of David Tennant's name, but he fully gives the game away when you speak to him as he'll ask players to help him find a certain long-lost colourful scarf. Hello again, Tom Baker's fourth Doctor. Rather uniquely, Dennant also makes a reference to a pocket watch that he can't recall as to where he actually got it, but it's nevertheless an important part of him. This is clearly a reference to the two-part Series 3 story, The Family of Blood and Human Nature, in which Tennant's 10th Doctor uses the Chameleon Arch fob to temporarily become a human and bait out the insidious Family of Blood. Number 5. Taz Steals a TARDIS. Taz Wanted. The cast of characters that make up the Looney Tunes are no stranger to pop culture references, and it seemed that Taz must have gotten his sticky paws on some truly out-of-this-world technology at one point if his outing in Taz Wanted is anything to go by. Once he's broken out of his cage in Yosemite Sam Zoo, Taz takes to various locales in search of his partner, She-Devil. However, if players are able to collect all the sandwiches in a particular level, anyone with even a passing knowledge of Doctor Who will recognise a very familiar blue box showing up to transport Taz to the level's bonus challenge. Yes, it seems that Taz has stolen a TARDIS to try and find his wife. But this could just be any magical blue box that transports people from place to place, but once you see a glimpse of inside the phone box, it is definitely the TARDIS. Look, it's got round things. All that's missing is that classic TARDIS sound, but similar to Fallout. Damn you, BBC copyright. Number 4. The Stone TARDIS – Assassin's Creed Origins Not content with sticking to their own universe, the Doctor, whichever incarnation is left unclear, took to gallivanting back to ancient Egypt. However, whilst there, they appear to have encountered a spot of bother if the location of their telltale vehicle is anything to go by. Dive down as Bayek in the middle of the straight water just off the coast of Letopolis, swim around a little bit, and eventually you'll come across the TARDIS at the bottom of the sea. It's not in quite as good shape as it has been elsewhere, looking far stonier and distinctly less usable. So it's unsure as to whether this doctor that travelled to Egypt actually managed to get away. Well, by the looks of these skeletal-looking legs poking out from under the TARDIS suggests that someone befell a somewhat grisly fate in the briny deep at the hands of a stone TARDIS. Still though, it's a fun easter egg to show that the Doctor is no stranger to invading any period of history they like. Perhaps this is just a nice replica of the TARDIS as a show of appreciation for the Gallifreyan. It has happened. Number 3. Looker, Pokemon A popular Pokemon fan theory suggests that the international man of mystery, Looker, is some form of the incarnation of the Wandering Time Lord themselves. He's appeared in all sorts of Pokemon media, but he first showed up in Pokemon Platinum on the trail of Team Galactic, trying to foil their plans for world domination. Looker only offers his pseudonym to the player, and he conducts all his business solo, shrouded in mystery. He's in Sinnoh to stop Team Galactic's plot, which threatens to tear holes in the very fabric of space and time. The most obvious evidence for Looker being the Pokemon equivalent of a Time Lord is his appearance, as he looks almost identical to David Tennant's 10th Doctor. For example, their attire is practically the same, both sporting a short fringed haircut and dressing in a button-down white shirt and purple tie paired with a brown suit and camel-coloured overcoat. Some suggest this persona and attire are derived from Kochi Zenigata, the fictional detective from the manga Lupin III, which is probably a more likely origin, but it's nevertheless a fun thing to consider that the TARDIS could bring the Doctor all the way to the shores of the Sinnoh region. Number 2. The Professor, Wizard 101 Wizard 101 hosts a recurring event in which an anthropomorphic dog dressed in an amalgam of the 4th, 10th, and 11th Doctor's outfits who is only known as the Professor visits the main cities across the game world. The Professor is described by the developers as a strange but friendly Samaritan from outside the normal flow of time, and he travels to the wide-ranging cities and worlds of Spiral in a bright red telegraph box. Seeking out the Professor will eventually allow players to enter his off-brand TARDIS, wherein you'll find a very familiar interior that is distinctly bigger on the inside. Oh, and he's also travelling with a companion called Rose. Piper. Subtle. 
The professor offers you a different quest at each location he appears at, each of them tasking the player with solving a conundrum in Wizard 101's lengthy timeline to ensure everything is put right. This seasonal event, known as the Five Boxes, definitely playing upon the whole TARDIS acronym there, is probably one of the most literal translations of the time-travelling hero across to games, offering the Magic and Clyde Hoovians to gallivant about solving problems in time, just like the show. And number one, the Doctor Who level pack, LEGO Dimensions. This one is a little bit more on the nose, but this is still fantastic. Avengers Endgame might have been touted as the most ambitious crossover in modern media, but the huge range of characters, levels, and items that made their way into the Toys to Life game LEGO Dimensions was something else. One of the level packs that made its way to the game was all you could ask for from a crossover with Doctor Who. Players could take control of Peter Capaldi's 12th Doctor, voiced by none other than the man himself, but this minifigure could also reincarnate into every single previous Doctor that existed at the time. You got to roam around in a cutesy Lego version of the TARDIS and build your own canine. In the rather literally titled level, The Dalek Extermination of Earth, players teamed up their ragtag bunch of Lego heroes with the Doctor to take on a mass of cute Lego Daleks. Along the way, you'll fight a giant Lego Cyberman, encounter weeping angels, and witness Capaldi deliver one of his trademark sarcastic put-downs to none other than the caped crusader himself. If that's not worth the price of admission, what is? And they are just some of the times Doctor Who has crossed over into the realm of video games that aren't just their own Doctor Who video games. If you are a viewer of What Culture Gaming and you think you know your way around a TARDIS, then why not come over to Who Culture, a channel dedicated to all things Doctor Who, here within the What Culture network of YouTube stuff. Please subscribe over there, and if you are not subscribed to What Culture Gaming either, please do that too. Thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at PickupChangeToe. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon.